and I'm feeling fly. It's hot with the sunny sky. We laugh out like Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles, and today I'm here with CGH3, and we're gonna show you how to do a lace braided ponytail. Now, you guys may recognize this hairstyle from my good friend Lilith Moon's channel, and you would be correct. Now, Lilith and I have been wanting to do a collab together for a long time, but seeing how I'm in the US and she's over in Paris, it's hard for us to get together in person. So today, instead, we are going to do what we're calling a style collaboration, which is where I'm going to recreate and teach you guys one of my favorite Lilith Moon tutorials, and then she's going to recreate and style and teach one of her favorite CGH tutorials to all of her viewers as well. So, if you don't know Lilith already, you may not know that she's amazing with hair extensions and with varying lengths of styles and also do-it-yourself styles. So go check her out. You can find a link to her in the description box below or up here where you just saw her flashing hairstyle pictures. So now on to the lace braided ponytail. Now I've started by pulling her hair up into a high ponytail. I've added one single French back into the ponytail just to add texture, but a pompadour or even some teasing right through here would do just as well. And then of course we've wrapped the elastic with hair to make it look prettier. To start the style, you're gonna go to this left side of the ponytail and pick up a little section of hair. And we're gonna begin a basic braid. So I'm gonna only do one little stitch at the top just to secure that start point. You're going to reach over to this left side of the braid and pick up a very small section of hair. The smaller the better. We're going to add it into this leftmost piece and then add it into the stitch of the braid. On the right side, you will not be adding hair. That's why it's a lace braid. So we're going to do it again. Pick up, if you want, you can dip your fingers in just a tiny little bit of pomade to help those hairs stay separated. Pick up a small section of hair. If you pick up too big a section of hair, then you won't get the gap in between each piece so it won't look as good. Add it into the leftmost strand and wrap it into the braid. And then go back over to the ponytail, the left side again. Almost from behind the ponytail is where you want to grab the hair from so that it looks like the hair is completely covering the ponytail. Add it in and do a stitch. Now as I'm going along you'll notice that I'm overextending the braid to the right hand side. That's just so that the braid, when we're done, will lay straight instead of laying on a diagonal down her ponytail. I'm going to pick up a little tiny bit more hair, add it in, and go ahead and add more hair. And again, you can use pomade if you're having a hard time keeping your pieces separated on your own. Up to you. And you can go halfway down the ponytail like I am right now, or you can go all the way down. Just depends on where you want to stop. It's pretty basic. Just make sure you're kind of reaching back behind ponytail when you're picking up those strands. I'm kicking and dry, can't stop living so high. It's the time of and then just finish off with a regular braid. Down to the bottom. Use the, an elastic that's the same color as their hair, so it kind of hides it a little bit. And secure it. Thank you, sorry. And then just let the braid fall. Now you'll notice that as it falls, it loosens those strands up a little bit. And you get this really, really pretty, almost feathered effect across the braid. And that is the lace braided ponytail. Okay, and here is the final style, the lace braided ponytail. She's been getting a ton of comments as she's been wearing this around this week, and she's loving it, and so do I, because I think it's adorable. Okay, now if you want a fun variation that you can make into an updo, you can also take the same style and just simply wrap it up and over, and then tuck this hair back under again, and then bobby pin it using some bobby pins. Secure those ends. into place. Like this. And then you can take a cute bow and add it to one side of that hairstyle and even have a really fun looking updo. 
Now be sure to check out Lilith's channel. You can find a link in the description box below or up here in this box. You need to go over and find out which of our tutorials she picked to show her viewers and make sure and leave her a comment just letting her know that we sent you along. And be sure to subscribe to our channel guys and we'll see you next week. Bye bye. Bye. It's all right, cause we I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> what do you do? Isn't that what I'm doing? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay. Just raising one eyebrow. Can, you can't even raise one. I can. Hmm.